Hello, my friends. Happy Easter. We are uh, Michael and Gabriella, my beautiful daughter. And uh, it's a beautiful day because it's Easter Sunday and we're here to celebrate the Feast of the Lord's Resurrection. Every Sunday is actually a little Easter. So this is like mm -hmm. the big Sunday. You know, this might saying? be like the wrong time to tell you. But so during Lent, you can take Sunday off from your Lenten obligations. <laughs> Tip. Count it out. 40 days, not counting Sundays. We're going to talk about the gospel for this Sunday, Easter Sunday, in two minutes. Go! All right, so the reading this Sunday is Mary Magdalene, or the gospel this Sunday, is Mary Magdalene went to the tomb, found that Jesus was missing, and was like, I'm not touching this with a 10 foot pole, goes and gets Simon and the disciple that Jesus loved. <laughs> what? Why is it always a 10 foot pole? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Why is it a cat out of the bag? Why is it a fish out of the bag? All right. Okay, the leave in the comments <laughs> if you know why it's 10 foot pole. They race to the tomb, and uh, the disciple that Jesus loved, we pretty, we're pretty sure is John, gets there first, but waits for Simon, and Simon goes in and checks it out, and then the and then John comes in and checks it out, and they're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus is missing, <laughs> and because they still have, and the last line is they still hadn't understood the scripture that meant that Jesus had raised, and the last line stuck out to me, and for two reasons. At first, it seems like. They haven't understood. Literally, all the scripture has been fulfilled, and they still don't understand. <laughs> it just seems very frustrating. The other one hand, is I really like mysteries. So uh, you, you guys know that scene, like in the back, where uh, you have that big poster board with all the pictures, and then you have like the red string that connects everything. I think they have all the pieces. They're just like still trying to figure it out. They're still mm -hmm. trying to figure out where to put this string mm -hmm. that, and it like clicks that Jesus is raised from the dead, and that kind of click happens just after the road to Emmaus. I think that there's all these great little details, like uh, that a woman finds out mm -hmm. that Jesus is there first, like she wouldn't have been a, a reliable witness, and that, that there's like this foot race there, all these little details mm -hmm. that point to it actually happening. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. people think, oh, that's just like a fairy tale that they wrote. It's like, no, these, all these details really make it real. That's ha actually how the, the events happen. And I think sometimes it can be easy to say, oh, like, come on, disciples, can't you figure it out? But like, this is their lives, you know, mm -hmm. like, how devastated you are after a loved one passes away. And that's, that, they're just going through all these feels right there, you know, like all the feels, like all the ones, like, oh my gosh. And so, um, I mean, the joy of it is that God rose on the third day and that gives us a promise of heaven as well. And so, um, Enjoy the Easter season, enjoy the celebration, enjoy the feasting after the fasting that is Lent. Uh, make sure you go to Mass this Sunday no matter what. Go to Mass. Go with God. Amen.